Ladies and gentlemen, make her feel welcome, Connie Hawkins! Thank you. Thanks so much. In a town like this, obviously aging is a hot topic since it's always the current event. <laughs> really hit me hard this week when a handsome young man was helping me at a store, asked me if I'd gotten my hair trimmed recently. I had to say, stop myself from saying no, my ass just dropped. <laughs> I hate to think I'm going through a midlife crisis because that would mean I'm going to live to be 106. It occurred to me I've been going through an extended midlife crisis and I missed the period of time when I was supposed to realize I had become my parents, so it was a huge shock to realize I'm already my grandparents. <laughs> In my mind, I'm 30. My body's equally confused, it thinks it's 90. My husband and I have always been questionable influences on people, and it's no different now that we're grandparents. The youngest one thought you were supposed to moan, oh, and groan, when you get up and down off the floor. Went to pick her up a few days after she started daycare, and she had the entire class of two-year-olds moaning and groaning as they got up and down off the floor. So, passing on family traditions, and now our youngest granddaughter is also a questionable influence. <laughs> My husband and I have a remodeling business. Having a husband and wife office adds a whole new meaning to sexual harassment in the workplace. <laughs> My husband wishes there was someone he could report me to. <laughs> he, like, he can't call in sick either. I'm like, you felt pretty good at five o'clock this morning when you were grabbing my ass. Like all industries, you come up with your own set of definitions for common phrases. And so in the construction business, a contractor is actually a gambler who never gets to shuffle, cut, or deal. A bid, it's a wild guess carried out two decimal points. The low bidder is the contractor wondering what he left out. An engineer's estimate, that's the cost of construction in heaven. A project manager, he's actually the conductor of an orchestra in which everyone is reading different sheet music. <laughs> a critical path method, now that's a management technique for losing your shirt under perfect control. <laughs> Completion date, that's the point at which liquidated damages begin. <laughs> liquidated damages, a penalty for failing to achieve the impossible. Auditors, they're the people who go in after the battle's lost and bayonet the wounded. <laughs> the lawyers are the people who go in after the auditors and strip the bodies. <laughs> so after 34 years in the construction business and 18 years of owning my own business, I came to the conclusion I'm cursed. So I decided to Google how to lift a curse. Clicked on liftingacurse.com. Wow, most mind-bending two seconds of my life. Now I have to get a new computer, possibly a new identity. <laughs> I was trying to get a live person on a customer service line recently. First, the computer had an attitude about my past due balance. Cheeky bastard. <laughs> After several minutes of I would like to talk to a person and him replying, I don't understand what you want. I was screaming like a lunatic. Then the computer did connect me to a live person, the intake nurse at a mental institution in Bangor, Maine. <laughs> May be hard to tell, but I'm feeling much better now. Thank y'all so much, and thanks for coming out to support all of us. We sure appreciate it. Connie, let her hear it. Hey, Connie Hawkins, Brendan Lindsay, Ted Daly, Dave Bell, Jason Dugmore, Wolf Zucker, Bobby Burrell, Randall Thomas.